Gonna do a wake up. Wake up in the morning and everything is shitty. Somebody ruined my TV. Oh. Number one, ten heart. Number two, ten. Number three, ten hearts. Number four, ten hearts, Steve Garl. Number five, ten. Number six, ten heart. Number seven, ten hearts, Billy Locane, Miriam Locane. Assumption, Void, Gloom, Despair, Joseph Schrieber, Temptation, Cynthia, Source, Jasper, Watchfulness, Andrew, Chaos, Richard, Mother, Eileen, Wisdom, Henry. Our shopping list is complete. Now don't make the same mistake I do and forget to pick up your Henry, because then the Holy Assumption, you can't... Your whole holy assumption is ruined. You made some serious assumptions. No, you can't do it. I believe in you, Henry. Yeah, what appears on the TV? Something creepy? I'm getting rid of the noisy hauntings, except Kitty. Kitty can stay. <coughs> hmm. Still no silver bullets. Oh darn, I might not get the uh, peephole haunting this game, but I really hope I do. That's why I'm getting rid of these other ones, because I want to make room for it. Uh, we just kind of just got to get lucky at this point. Or the phone! I want the phone too. I want all the good hauntings. Say we just got a haunted Eileen. There's a the little boy. Why? Why is he doing a silly dance? That's like the that's the baby dance from that 3D baby commercial. Where they try to sell you digital babies. Oh, understandably. There's a diary on the ground. A commercial is nightmarish. I had that weird dream today. The one with the man with the long hair and coat. He was crying and looking for his mother again. I saw that man with the coat ten years ago in this apartment. He was going up the stairs carrying a heavy tool, an old-looking bowl, and a bag that was dripping blood. I never saw him again after that, but a few days later the neighbors complained that they heard strange noises coming from the supposedly empty room 302. Aww! Fluff kitty! I'm gonna pet. I'll pet the kitty. So I took a long look around room 302 and found signs that someone had been in there, but nothing odd other than that. But that's when it all started. I still hear strange noises coming from the window of room 302. Sunderland. Aw, oh, I'm sorry, stream sucks. <laughs> yes. I will, I will absolutely post that cosplay later. Oh, <laughs> Rambo, they don't do that in real time. Oh, friend. Oh, friend, don't hurt yourself. Please, we're here to have fun. 
We are going to have some fun. There's an old picture and a red book here. Oh, I kind of don't want to read anymore. There once was a baby and a mother who are connected by a magical cord. They made lots of friends, woke up the mother, saw the devil. The light was warm and make, made the baby feel good. When the baby looked into his hand, he saw the magical cord was lying there. With the cord clutched in his hand, the baby went happily to sleep. <laughs> See you later, cutie. Crimson Tome. She who is called the Holy Mother be not holy one whit. The descent of the Holy Mother is not but the descent of the devil. And those that be called the Twenty-One Sacraments be not sacramental one whit. The Twenty-One Sacraments be not but the Twenty-One Heresies. To give birth to a realm of wickedness within the blessed realm of our Lord be blasphemy in the work of the devil. If thou wouldst stop the descent of the devil, you must bury part of the conjurer's mother's flesh within the conjurer's true body. Thou must also pierce the conjurer's flesh with the eight spears of void, darkness, gloom, despair, temptation, source, watchfulness, and chaos. Do so, and the conjurer's unholy flesh will become that which once it was by the grace of our Lord. <coughs> That's actually easier than speaking in my normal voice. Nice. <laughs> I'm telling you, I need to be a voice actor. The gate to hell. Why? Why must I destroy this wall? Oh, shoot. Holes within holes. Cells within cells. Christianity confirmed can- Oh, give me more more notes. Give them to me, yes. What's with this- What's with this room? It's covered in blood and rust. This is my room, but what the hell has happened to it? This room, is it really my room? It's in terrible shape. The air is so heavy. My head hurts. Creepy, it looks like a face. What the hell am I writing? <clears throat> so that's, um, okay, so the, the opening section, we were actually, I think Henry was dreaming and taking on the consciousness of Joseph in his dream, dreaming about Henry's apartment. Eber. <laughs> What's the deal? With this voice! Can't break down the wall. Don't break my wall. When the bell rings, Eileen equals mother's body blood. The Crimson Tome. Very part of the conjurer's mother's flesh within the true body of the conjurer. Part of the flesh equals Super's room. All right, Tribor, thanks for hanging out. Have a good one. Oh, give me that jackhammer of despair. Yes. You can't despair when you've got a powerful tool like that at your disposal. Eileen, I'm sorry. This is a good moment, though. It's him. You've done well to make it this far. Let me tell you something about me, Walter Solomon. decided to free her from the stains and corruption of this world. At the orphanage, he learned of the 21 sacraments, the only way to purify her. He 
then he performed the ceremony of the Holy Assumption and created this Eastern world. Now he's become nothing more than an inhuman killing machine. Well, he's dead now, but he's still trying to complete the 21 sacraments. His boyhood desire to return to the bosom of his birth has divided him. Now his child self has manifested itself in this world. And soon he's planning to finish his work, the 21 sacraments. Number 20, the mother reborn, Eileen Galvin. Number 21, the receiver of wisdom, Henry Townsend. Even now, it may not be too late. Follow the crimson tone. Stop him. If not, wherever you are, he will catch you. Find him. His true location. It must be nearby. You must kill him. You must kill him. Kill. 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 She's number 20. Every day has been the mother is born. Yep. The crimson tone. Obey the crimson tone. Kill her. Must kill him. Kill 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 him. Oh, hey, token lad. It is good to see you here. I'm glad you could make it. We are getting close to the end of this game. I think we still have to go through Apartment World version 2.0. Can't use this here. What if we go in the hole in the hole in the bathroom in the hole in the bathroom in the hole bathroom in the bathroom hole in the hole in the bathroom? Oh, um, she got, I left her behind and she got real hurt, Jozo. So, um, she's horribly possessed and I don't think we have much chance of getting the good ending, which is fine because I was going for the bad ending. Totally not just saying that to to cover my own butt after screwing this up. So we got a toy that we can use to um, just completely ruin any chance of having, uh, getting our damage deposit back. Oh, <gasps> it happened. Okay, everyone. Draw your attention to the stream. We got a real good moment. I'm going to look through this peephole. Let's do it. Look who it is! Oh. <laughs> That's pretty much the only ref you get, yeah. A sarcastic amount of chains. Very good. So, um... That... I think that is the haunting that has 
haunted me the most, that has uh, made it hard to sleep many nights. So honestly, this whole game makes it hard to sleep. That that one's a real treat. Let's go through and see what we can find back here. <gasps> there was oil in the storage room this whole time. Mm. Oh. Giant Eileen head is also very, very good. No wonder my electricity bill went up so high. Stinky. So, um, meet, meet Walter Sullivan. <laughs> Let's investigate. Yes, Henry. Keys of Liberation. <laughs> he has not aged well. Filled with white oil. Bones. Ooh. Oh, I should read the SCPs again. They're so good. It's... Super cool poetry. <gasps> we got another one! It's the sink that runs red with blood. Runs blood with red. Oh, it's scary. Don't get too close. Cousin Johnny? Oh no. Well. Oh, you can. Does this mean we're gonna meet, get to meet victim Henry in person? Maybe we can give him a hug. Poor boy needs a hug. Look, I can move the little... <laughs> I can move the figure around. The door is open! Two and forevermore. Walls are made of worms. Eileen? Oh, hi, Eileen. You want to come over? I managed to get my door open. I have, um... <laughs> I have Fridge Kitty. Um, there's fresh blood coming from the sink. I don't know if you're thirsty or... Yeah, that is a good surprise, I gotta admit. It's like, oh, speaking of good surprise. Like, no wonder Henry. Oh, wow. 
No wonder Henry this couldn't reach. Um, now it looks like some kind of nightmare. Gosh, you know it. Da ba da ba da words. You know what I'm trying to say. That's why we're out of contact because we were in another world. A whole new world. Oh, Terrify a murder town. Gosh, this game is so good. I enjoy playing it. Gosh, this game is so good. I enjoy playing it. <laughs> Please. <laughs> yeah, come for the story, stay for the story. Leave because you're frustrated with the combat. Hey, Eileen, do you want to... I got this cool necklace. Do you want to try it? No? That would make too much sense. So, like, I feel like there's there's acceptable levels of breaking between gameplay and storytelling. Like, you know, a character dies in a cutscene. You can't just use the health drink. Okay, that's... Oh, what? How rude. Then there's like, hey, I have this medallion that chases away ghosts. Oh no, you can't wear it around your neck because they didn't have time to program that in. Yeah, this game, it doesn't, it doesn't strike that balance of suspension with disbelief. But again, like, it's, it's obviously rushed. do anything for Eileen. Oh, can I? Oh, she does the wormy! That's good. I like when she does the wormy. You are right about that, token lad. This was originally not a silent hill. I don't know what it was. Oh, oh, he's... Walter's playing playing Call of Duty down that hallway. <laughs> Ow! Dang, he got me. Oh, hey, there's literally no reason to come over here. <laughs> you got it, token. Oh, it's burping time. We all be slurping and burping. Oh no, it's happening. Why? Why? You know the death scream that Henry makes? I'm gonna make that right now. There needs... There needs to be more of them. I don't think they put enough enemies in that room. Do you, what do you think? Do you think they should be able to attack, like, um seven, eight times in a row and swing attacks through each other and chain combo you to death? I think they should. I 
Now Eileen's on the floor, and I have to have to wait for her to, to catch her breath. Do a little stand up. Well, I get murdered. Stunlock. Stunlock and invulnerability frames are really what Silent Hill needed. That's why they made uh, Homecoming. Because people were just. They're like, oh, the combat in 4 is so good. We need more of this. No, and that's. And that's a real shame, because, like. Eileen as a character is wonderful. Eileen as. someone in the game that you have to. What is going on? What the... what just happened? <laughs> Eileen as, like, a physical body in the game is the most frustrating and annoying thing that you have to deal with. She's beating herself... She's beating herself up. Oh my... I think... Actually, Emma... Yeah, I think you're right. Um... I think that might have been what actually happened there, and I missed it. She- oh, hi. Excuse me. She got so possessed. That's why my Saint Medallion went off. Because it was the ultimate possession. This is good, too. This is an enjoyable part of the video game. Door stuck! Door stuck! Oh no... Now she's gonna lay down and have a nap. Now she's gonna have a nice little nap. And Walter's just gonna like stand there shooting her. And it's gonna be an endless cycle. Gosh, I want a nap. I thought this stream would be done in like four hours. We're at four and a half. Oh, piss off. He's gonna be waiting there. Pyramid? Oh, fucking hell. Like, honestly, at this point... Oh, now we get a nice calming music. Um, at this point, it would make sense for her to just die. And, like, I mean that in the nicest way possible. Like, she's... She is dead. She has been killed. Walter has has killed her. The 20th sacrament is complete. Um, why do we gotta drag this out and make everyone suffer more? She's she's dead. She died. It's not a game over. You're just gonna get the bad ending. Like, that's I'm fine with that. Alright, let's do it. What? Oh no. I mean, I'm going for the bad ending anyway. Um, it wasn't meant to go this badly. That ghost loves Sonic the Hedgehog. <laughs> yeah, I did it. Congration, you done it.
Okay, why? I guess birth giving noises, um, because of the whole story. There are six chains. There are four lights. God, I could use a tonic the hedgehog right now. It's a sketchbook. Walter's father? Gin hedgehog. Yes. You need a literal ton of candles. Oh, here we go. Oh, shut the hell up. You can't blame it all on me. And there's... We've got a monster trying to take a big shit. doing her own thing. Eileen's got it under control. Oh. Unlike him. Hacking and smacking. It's gonna hack and whack and chop that meat. Absolutely, yes, token, yes. Walter was best when he was he was a game show answer. Walter, the, the magical trivia boy. Do you know how many people he killed? You gotta know. That magical murder number. Most magical murder of all. The murder we did to ourselves. Get back to yeah, it's like it's like the game realizes how much shit it's putting into, and it's like, okay, we're just gonna give you, I'm gonna give you some chill out music. Game. Henry? <sighs> I get, oh, my head. Oh. 
We just we gotta get rid of the stuff in between the cutscenes because the cutscenes are really good. chat. Oh, now we get the best item in the game. Finger, yes! He just poked him in the eye. That's why Henry's so upset. Um, the pixel sauce is, uh, it, it represents her possession level, so she literally could not be any more possessed. Um, we have lost as, as much as we possibly can. Is that, that feels like an achievement. We've done good. Don't we set out to do. I'm really frustrated and still the voice acting is crushing my soul. Just, um, ships passing in the night. Mm, uh, this is an accurate depiction of what's going to happen.
The Red Sea artifact? Oh, is that the one that attaches to mirrors? Because if so, yes. Big yes. Extremely. Okay. <laughs> I... Yeah, I, we're all excited to be. Oh yeah, oh I know the one. Oh, that's super swell, thank you. Thank you so much. Oh, we finally get the bug spray. And we can never use it. I mean, we'll never get to use it. Oh, I gotta, I gotta redo my credits. Thank you so much, Token. Oh, we didn't get the... We didn't get the dad, I can't see your face. Is that because Eileen was just that possessed? Oh, yeah. There... Yeah, there are basically two endings to this game. Um, what the... Oh, it's this... It's this neighbor again. He's back. Hey! I'm bored. What's on? Do you have, do you have the sports channel? I want to watch my game. What's on the television? Oh, there's actually... There's four? Oh. I thought it was just, um, it was just yes and no. Are there like, um, is there like hard yes, soft yes, hard no, soft no? That kind of deal? All right, we gotta get ready for the final battle. Which means gun. Oh, wait, oh, this. Okay, what order do I have to do this in? Gun might not be the answer. Wow, they really... Oh, they made guns useless with the whole bullet taking up multiple spots. Oh, shouldn't have done that. We're taking it back to the drawing board, everyone. I think this is the best loadout. Let's bring the doll. Guns don't work. I'm gonna save again. I do need room for spears. Okay. Chug a chug a thirsty. Yeah, re so thirsty. Give me a chocolate milk. Yeah, okay, I forgot about the spears. Hey, did I, did I mention... I'm not even... Thank you. Thank you for your help. I would have... I mean, I could just chug healing items, but still. Still butts. In this depression. Oh, this game is uh, an allegory for depression. This is no normal depression. This is like... We've entered a whole new level of depression. I feel like I could be sucked in, like it's connected to some other dimension. Maybe it's like a hole that once you enter, you can never leave. Okay, okay. Well, I'm definitely getting, like, bad minus. Baddest of the bad endings. Oh, that is a deep depression, Val.
okay. Um, that's right, because I'm starting to remember now. So I'm definitely getting 21 sacraments. For 21, we go to Sacramento. <laughs> well, were they the 42 sacraments then? But, um, it's... Or is it one more sacrament each time they play? That would be a hell of a bad name. It just counts up with every show they do and record. It's the worst idea, never do that. Hey. Cool place you got here. You, uh. You like weed? You can get high? Oh, you're already sailing. <laughs> yes, absolutely. They only count as half if they open. <laughs> I still haven't seen Event Horizon, Isabel. I'm sorry. Eileen is gonna just, like... Someone says she's gonna Usain Bolt right into that thing. Hey there, little Walter. <sighs> Just a little longer now. Henry. Glory. The last of the 21 seconds. Final sign, the receiver of wisdom. Before the cutscene even ends, she's gonna be in that pool. All right, so we gotta do a few things. Do I have to do this first? Don't shoot me. And here we go. Here, you dropped this. Have it back. got spear with holy mother carved into it the crimson tome says i have to stick these stick these spears into into balter's balter's wand i'm sorry i'm sorry for the words that my mouth says she's scooting don't do it ow Cut out again. Come on, Twitch. What's the sitch, Twitch? <laughs> Can you spear a dime? such a good joke. Why don't you tell it again? <laughs> and she's done. I'm sorry. Our girl's done, you rings. We just gotta stomp him? Oh, he has to get up. Cool 
hitbox. How do you like my iframes? Scared him. I thought I was gonna do a big swing and he's like, oh my gosh. Shoot. I ain't even gonna pull the trigger. I feel like Walter kind of... The fuck? He's just so... So nonchalant, so uninterested in the actual fight. Like, what a mood. What if Dark Souls with gun? It's almost over. It's almost. We did it. Mm, he's a ghost. Hey, good luck. Thanks for hanging out with us. Have a good sesh. Little Wally made it home. Mom. Mom. I'm home. I won't let anyone get in my way. I'm gonna stay with you forever. Forever. And now the news. Yesterday, in Ashfield and the woods near Silent Hill, the bodies of five apparent murder victims and a sixth severely wounded female were discovered. The woman was immediately rushed to St. Jerome's Hospital, but died a short time later of her injuries. She has been identified as a Miss Eileen Galvin of Ashfield. The last body discovered was found in room 302 of the South Ashfield Heights apartment. It is believed to be that of its occupant, Henry Townsend. The body was reportedly disfigured beyond recognition, making identification impossible. Once again, we've got late-breaking news. Five unnamed police officers have been found dead, for reasons unknown, in the South Ashfield Heights apartment, along with its superintendent, Mr. Frank Sunderland. All other residents of South Ashfield Heights have been rushed to St. Jerome's Hospital, 
many complaining of severe chest pain. These strange incidents are similar to the ones which occurred in Silent Hill some years ago. More news to follow. Five hundred twenty-five thousand six hundred dead cops. Oh, we did it! We made it to the end of the game and died. Twenty-one out of twenty-one. Uh, what can I say? I'm a completionist. I couldn't let it stop at 19 out of 21. What about my Chivos? My gamer score? Haunting us this whole on this game. It's definitely like got a lot of interesting themes, but it doesn't have much space to explore them. Um, the gameplay is not good. Uh, again, I do really love the setting, and for what little we get of the characters, I do like them. Um, I'm probably going to be taking a break from Silent Hill in general after this. Uh, there's a lot more games out there. But this... replaying all of these games has really... changed, changed my perception of them. It, it doesn't feel finished. Now, the soundtrack is good. The story is neat. I like that they... Ooh, creepy. I like that they, um, they expanded upon Walter Sullivan, but now that I have uh, played through these games again, wow, I got seven stars. It's my best rank. Having played through all of them again, um, Silent Hill 3 is my favorite. Actually, it's kind of a toss up between 3 and 2, then 1, then 4. Three, I think it might win just for Heather. Because she's such a good character, and they do such amazing work with the model in the cutscene. She's so expressive. Her voice actor is perfect. It's just utterly perfect. Yeah, that, that game is so... It is like an open wound. And Silent Hill 2, I mean Silent Hill 2. Silent Hill 1 is a very strong game. I really like it. It's, and like, it was obviously a good enough game to start a whole series off of. 
It's a little more standard. Um, it doesn't... Well, I guess it's... It's kind of following conventions. It's kind of making conventions. It doesn't... It doesn't play with conventions quite the same way that 2 and 3 do, and 4 to an extent. <laughs> Videodrome. That's... That's fair white noise, like... Yeah, 3... It's tough to play for different reasons. Because it never lets up on you. It doesn't really give you a break or a rest. Um, the tension just keeps building all the way. And like, compare that to Silent Hill 1, where you have a predictable build, peak, and drop in tension. That's why I say Silent Hill 1's a little more conventional in that way. Because like between between the school and the hospital, it's there are still monsters, but it's very much a break in tension. It's a sigh of relief. You made it out of the other world. You have some room to breathe. 